For the next problem, we will have a coin change. We want to give a change for n cents and we have coins nominals 2, 5 and 10. We assume that we have unlimited supply of coins. Return the amount of all possible ways to make a change. Imagine that you have to give 17 cents and you have to form a change with nominals that you have. How do you perform the operation? You will take 10 cents and you will have 7 cents left. Then you will take 5 cents because if you take 10 cents that will be 3 extra coins and you don't want it to happen. So now you will have 2 cents left. For the next step you can't take 10 cents and 5 cents because it also will be an extra change. So you should add 2 cents and return the change to the customer because you reach the goal of 17 cents. So the easiest way to solve this problem is to use a recursion. Let's create a method called coinChange that takes sense amount n as input and returns possible ways to make a change as integer. The method is going to return a sum of self calls, but on each call we need to remove from n 10, 5 and 2. Now let's think when we should stop the recursion call. If we are going to call a function with 0, what are possible ways to form that change? There is only one way possible, give no coins. So if n equals 0, then return 1. But if n is less than 0, then return 0, because there is no way to form a change with a negative amount. This will be our solution with complexity O m powered by n where m is amount of nominals and n is amount of change. So let's see the tree of recursion calls in order to understand what is going on there. We will have to check all correct ways to form change, all incorrect. And as you can see sometimes we run our function on the same results that we just solved. We can try to optimize it using a technique called memoization in order to get rid of computing the same result again. Let's go back to implementation and do the improvement. As you can see we added the dictionary that stores subresults that we already calculated. Now our time complexity went down to OM by N and the same for memory. But can we get rid of the recursion? We want to use something that is pretty common for dynamic programming problems, it the matrix for storing intermediate results. We will build it in a way that columns will be sent until the amount that we need to give and the rows will be the nominals that we have. Think about the initial case again, when n equals 0 we should return 1, why? Because to build the change for zero coins there is only one way to not give any. So let's fill each row in a column 0 as 1. That will be our initial case. Now let's see at column 1 and row 1. Is there any way to build a change for 1 with 2 cents coins? The answer is no. So the value for 1 cents will be 0 and we should look at our previous nominal at the same row, which is 0, because we need to build all possible variations for 1 cent. Now let's look at column 2. Is there any way to build change for 2 with 2 cents coins? Yes. There is only one way, and how we will figure it out? We need to look at previous calculations. We need to subtract from 2 the nominal which is also 2 and it will lead us to 0. And what is the amount of ways to build a 0? Right, it's 1. And let's look again up and try to understand is there is a way to add the previous nominal which is 0. The value is 0. So our result will be 1. It will lead us to our formula that we're going to use table row column equal to table row minus one column plus table row column minus nominals. 
Let's fill the table using our formula. For column 3 we will have 0 because there is no way to build 3 using 2 cents nominals. For column 4 we will have 1 because we will take the previous result for current nominal and for previous nominal and so on. Now let's look at columns with nominal 5. Is there a way to build a change for 1, 2, 3, 4 with 5 coins? No, but we still need to take the result from the previous nominal. Let's look at the row 5. What is the result? We will take 5 minus 5. It will lead us to row 0 with value 1. And we will take the result from previous nominal which is 0 and the result will be 1. Let's fill another value the same way. Let's fill this row until the end. Now let's move to the next row. We will do the same mess here as we did previously, so let's fill that out. I think we are ready for implementation. Let's initialize our table with size of nominals plus 1 for rows and with amount of change required plus 1 for columns. Next we need to set up a basic case, 0 nominal and 0 coins with 1. Now let's iterate through rows and columns in order to use our formula to calculate the amount of possible ways to give a change and let's not forget the case if change required is less than nominal. And return the last cell of table as result. So this is will be our solution, we get rid of recursion and our complexity is O n by n and we use additional memory.